This is the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. Business is finally picking up for home builders, but you may be surprised to hear what kind of homes they're building. After a long slump, the home construction industry is showing some signs of life. The government reported today the number of permits to build new homes was way up, nearly 15 percent in June compared to May. The real growth was in apartment construction, up nearly 32 percent. Bill Whitaker now with more on that. When the housing bubble burst, Alpha Construction managed to stay afloat, holding on to the one lifeline in home construction, apartments. Alpha's been very busy with the apartments. Supervisor Paul Novell says apartments are where the action is. More are on the drawing boards and there's more competition for projects. We're building a lot and estimating a lot. There's more, more competition because the, the home builders are now trying to come into the apartment industry. While new home permits in L.A. suburbs were down as much as 42 percent the first quarter of this year, in Los Angeles, almost 1,000 permits to build new apartments were issued in May alone, the most in three years. The surge in the building of apartments is fueled by economics and demographics. Many older retirees and younger workers are choosing apartment living over home ownership. Apartments are more affordable, offer more flexibility. I don't miss property taxes. I don't miss big utility bills. Jonathan Fitzgerald sold his five-bedroom suburban house two years ago and moved to an in-town apartment. His mortgage was $12,000 a month. His rent is $4,500. Now I want to be closer to the office. I want to be close to my friends and, and uh, all the restaurants and places that I go to on a regular basis. It's a trend developer Rick Caruso noticed years ago. He builds outdoor malls based on old urban models, retail below, apartments above. This is a cultural shift with the dollars following, net positive for the economy, net good for the economy. Since the recession, Caruso has invested $260 million in apartment projects. He's banking the apartment boom won't slow down anytime soon. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.